friends, my name is Gabrielle, and welcome to Premier Streets. And today we are going to be talking about Sleeping Beauties by Stephen and Owen King. Now, Stephen King is obviously really well known for his horror writing, and Owen King is his son, and this is one of their first collaborations writing a story together. So I read this book as part of the Philip DeFranco Book Club. Now, this book is set in a small town known as Dueling, and it is about basically an epidemic occurs where women start to fall asleep, and they become shrouded in this cocoon-like substance, and if you wake them from their sleep, they have, like, really aggressive instincts, and then they try and attack and kill whoever woke them up and others. If you guys haven't read this book yet, then I will leave a full synopsis in the description down below so you guys can get more of what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna kind of just go into what I did and did not like about this book. What I liked about this book was the fact that it parallels um, certain political aspects and certain gender stereotypes that we see in everyday life. One of which was I, which I thought was really interesting was the fake news. In the book, as this uh, virus kind of spreads, a lot of people start saying that the news is lying or that they're leaving out certain aspects of it and they're making other people, like other people who have cures and etc. look bad. I honestly just thought that that was probably one of my favorite things about the book was the fact that it really kind of threw in fake news and addressed it and I feel like that's always something that's really interesting to see in a book is to see things that parallel our world in something that's happening in like such a fiction based way. I thought that a lot of the female characters that we see in the jail were really really like well developed. I liked seeing their camaraderie as they tried to keep each other awake and um, just how they really fleshed out and became actual people that, yes, they did these terrible things, but also we can connect with them. They're the ones that are probably going to be targeted for this virus because the virus only attacks women, and just seeing how they would rely on each other and just the methods that they went through was just so interesting to me, especially because not necessarily every woman in the jail or whoever they were with liked each other. They would still have that decency to help each other out. I thought that was really great to see. Honestly, I think I, I did have one favorite quote in this book, and it was, Evie doesn't tr trust the snake, obviously. She's had trouble with him before, which is really li why I think that that was a parallel between the Garden of Eden and Eve, and maybe a darker spin on who Eve could have been. And I would have loved to see more of that. Like, I feel like that would have been really interesting to see, to see this, the original, the first woman of the earth, and how she's doing this and see more of her why and more of her and less of the other 70 plus main characters I guess you could say. Sometimes more is not always better and while she is important during the many scenes when women start falling asleep I just feel like she deserved more as a character. She should have been more developed like as much at least as much as the the women in the jail were for a book that focuses so much on gender stereotypes and addressing them it kind of fell into a lot of similar tropes for example the women being the healers basically the women the women playing the peacekeepers which is kind of just a general trope that we see a lot in fiction they're the reasons like they keep the world in balance but like women aren't shown as being in I, I, really any positions of power the women who are in law enforcement like the the chief of police and then you get the prison guards like the inmates and the prison guards who were very like yeah they're very strong women and yet beyond that like there's not really any in leadership and you're still relying on that trope of okay the women are the healers and the ones that are keeping the peace even though we limit them to background characters which maybe was the point but I don't think so that kind of rubbed me the wrong way and it's kind of annoying it addresses all these things that we see daily and yet it's still goes back to similar tropes that we see in action movies or that we see in just other books. And then also this book was a very dull in the beginning. It took so long to get into. For a book that has such an interesting plot originally, it's very disappointing to have to just kind of wade through all this monotony before you finally get to what's happening. I enjoyed certain aspects of it. I enjoyed how there were definitely like parallelisms between our political and just our world setting and what was happening in the book but it was just a little bit disappointing and overall just a meh kind of read. But yeah, have you guys read this book? I would love to know your thoughts on it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, then make sure you do. I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that I want to react to. A any of your opinions you want to share, then definitely leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye. Thank you.